Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Hi. teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Hi. How do you I feel? Chill. <laughs> I chill. All right, because it's the last class. Yeah, it's it's opposite. <laughs> yes, I know it's it's been heavy. I retain my my <laughs> my life, my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I know. My soul. <laughs> it's oh. been a while. It's been a while. Yeah. Of hard work. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I know. But. It's all right. It's all right. You will recover and you will value the hard work you have done, the effort you have put on this. So it's it's valuable. All right. Uh -huh. Good evening, Ricardo. Good evening, Joanna from La Union recording themselves. That's nice. Great. Say how you feel on the chat about this last class, about finishing this this module, how do you feel? Mm -hmm. Tired, excited, <laughs> the end. Uh -huh. Exhausted, satisfied, unsatisfied, unhappy. <laughs> or happy mm -hmm. release or relief <laughs> all right good evening Miguel good evening Laura good evening David I see some people just reporting themselves David they're tired and sleepy I'm really happy because I learned very much gracias very good okay I'm good Miguel surviving I know. <laughs> I know. It takes time. It takes some time. It requires a lot of effort. Uh, it's sometimes even sacrificing. I know. All right. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. I'm very happy to have this last class. I hope you have taken advantage. I hope you have... Uh, improve your skills in the language communicating in English. I know it's difficult because of the schedule, because of your journey along the day, because of your activities, because of your other responsibilities. It's hard, it's very tough. And if you could probably put in practice what you have learned immediately, on a daily basis, like uh, helping others, probably coworkers or colleagues at work. That's also very meaningful because we also, uh, good evening Douglas, we also learn by teaching others. So that'll be really nice. I know sometimes can be tiring, can be quite exhausting, but take advantage, value it. I mean, if you're going to make an effort, do it for good. All right. Thank you for reminding me. Oh, my goodness. I have, let me see, the attendance list a little bit lost. Oh, no, I have it here. That's because of the dates that you have been attending so many days so far. Let me see. This is the last one. Okay, are we ready for the attendance before anything else happens? All right, let's start with Cristina, Ana Cristina Diaz. Present teacher. How are you? I am driving. You're driving. Be careful. Yes. Driving in yes. El Salvador. In La Unión. In La Unión, it's true. Yeah, I still don't recognize everybody from La Unión, but I know most of you are from La Unión. Be careful, be careful, all right? Yeah. Driving home. 
<laughs> All right, cool. And there, Noemi and Perez. She is on traffic. Oh my goodness. Thanks for reporting her. Brian. Uh, coming home. <laughs> as well. So you left work very late tonight. All right, I have some concern I have to tell Brian because I was checking his um work on the platform and I I need him to finish, right? Christian Alexander. Christian Alexander, Alexander not here. Difficulties most likely. David. David, David, I saw David. Did I? I'm here. I'm here, teacher. Hi, Brian. Welcome back. How are you? So so. Tired. Uh, no. Very tired. Very exhausted. Hungry. Yeah. No, so so. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was telling your colleague about your platform. Yep. We have any issue working on the platform? So, but I I I do it in the morning. You did it. Yep. Um, cause I was checking in the afternoon. Okay. Oh, you'll do it tomorrow morning. Yep. No, right. no, 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 no. Today you morning. Did it today. Today. Okay, so I'll double check us. Um, maybe. Where I mean the changes were not safe, but I, I was checking in the afternoon around four thirty. No. no, but I finished that. Everything. So, I th yeah, I think that it's the the last exercise is the number. There were um, four sessions. The number twenty, right? I guess so. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. so I finished it. All right. Thanks. Okay, give me just one second. My computer is about to die. I mean, the battery. Let me okay. just recharge. Hold on. All right, let's go on. Let's continue with the attendance. Uh, David Miguel Angel. Present teacher. Hello, good evening. Doris. Elizabeth. I don't see Doris. Okay, Douglas. Present. All right, thank you. Stephanie. Present. Thank you. Francisco Javier. Present. Hi, good evening. Gracias, Marisol. Present. Hi, good evening. Hector Manuel. Present, teacher. Hello, good evening. Joana de la Paz. Present, teacher. Hello, good evening. Jose Antonio. Not here. Okay. Carla Janet. Present teacher. Hello. Good night. Good evening. Good evening. Laura Berenice. Present teacher. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Miguel Angel. Present teacher. Hello. Good evening. Nelson. Present. Hello. Good evening. Ricardo. Present teacher. Hello, good evening. Wendy. 
present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. And Wilmer. Present teacher. Hello. Did I miss anyone that I didn't mention? Did I? Or I mentioned everybody. Okay, good. Well, let me just show. Okay, from what well, we have been studying. Oh, wait a second. I just need to check out something. Eh, en español, ¿recibieron un correo con un link de una encuesta de satisfacción? Yes. Great. Los no. que no se han percatado pueden revisar su correo con el que se inscribieron. O en WhatsApp. ¿El qué, teacher? Perdón. Hoy les enviaron, bueno, les debieron haber enviado un link para llenar una encuesta de satisfacción. ¿O a su correo o a su WhatsApp? En WhatsApp. En WhatsApp, right? Vaya, vale. entonces, eso lo tenemos que llenar a las, justamente a las 8 y 20. Por eso les hago el recordatorio, porque sí, corresponde este día llenar la encuesta de satisfacción. A ver. Yes. Ok, si sí les pedimos que... Se los enviaron de manera personal o en el grupo? Personal. Sí, de manera personal, personal porque personal. Ya no veo acá nada en el grupo. Vaya, sí, eh, les pedimos que esperen el momento para ir llenando todos juntos por si hay algún dato que, que no estén como muy seguros que poner. Ok, so in five minutes we're going to start with that. Yo igual si lo tengo en el correo. Está por acá. Y quiero ver. Sí, hay bastante información sobre la encuesta de satisfacción. Ver las indicaciones en el video. Pues los datos del curso, ¿verdad? Que tienen que ir tal cual como se, lo, se los mandaron. Pueden copiar y pegar. Eh, la orden de inicio, el nombre del proveedor. El nombre del curso, fecha de inicio del curso, fecha que finaliza el curso, que es este día. Y pues ahí tienen el link para accesar a la encuesta. And yes, in like in four minutes, vamos a iniciar, pues tratemos de, como de ir al mismo tiempo para no equivocarnos. Ah, y al finalizar, tomar un screenshot de que ha enviado la respuesta de la encuesta y ponerla en el grupo de WhatsApp. Como evidencia de que usted ya terminó la, la que ya no la encuesta, pues, porque es un requisito de insaport. Ok. Yes. All good, all good. Yes. All right. Ok, so to begin with, yes, this is our last session of this module. And because of the Independence Day, we finish until today. This is the topics that we're gonna review. There is, there are, and adjectives to describe the workplace. Obviously the last class of every session, or I mean, of, yeah, of every unit is summarizing, is wrapping up, is reviewing, right? So, prácticamente lo que se hace en la última clase de cada unidad es hacer un cierre, es repasar los contenidos, estudiados o aprendidos durante esa unidad. So that's why you see, oh, we already started this. Yes, it's a review, it's just for practice, it's just to confirm that what you have learned is what you are supposed to learn, okay? So therefore, at the end of this session, participants will be able to use the reads that are in adjectives to describe workplace, the same, y esta, Lesson que nos había quedado un poquito pendiente por ahí. Así que prepositions of place, ya habíamos visto algunos, like in front of, near, across from, opposite, next to, between. And then there are some others, like along, in front of, behind, next to, between, across, past, under. Eso prácticamente aplica 
no tanto en una calle, sino que dentro de un edificio, por ejemplo, dentro de, de unas instalaciones donde usted dice, ah, es que la oficina de, de la gerencia está enfrente de, lo, de, qué sé yo, del área de mercado, right, so in front of, no necesariamente una calle que lo divida, right, so it's just in front of, or behind, or next to, o across, podría ser, de repente hay un pasillo, o hay, eh, qué sé yo, un espacio más abierto. Pass, al pasar después del corredor, o después del, de al pasar a uh, algún otro room, o alguna otra office, under, pues sí, eso vemos. Y along también es a lo largo de, como a lo largo de este pasillo, de este corredor. Right, so this is what we're going to be practicing, propositions of place, where so park located. Just look at it among many places. Among, creo que, no se las han puesto acá, pero aquí lo están usando. Among es como entre varios. Usted dice between cuando solo tiene referencia a dos lugares. Y algo que está en medio, ahí es between. Pero si tiene muchos más lugares de referencia, entonces among, como among us, right? So where is the sport palace located? It's located on Barrio Street in front of the park. Where is the mall located? It's located near the restaurant. Where the church is located past the school, right? So this is what we're going to be studying. And I don't want to keep you any longer because of the time to start the survey. Let me see. Igual, les voy a compartir pantalla para que también ustedes puedan ver. Lo de la encuesta de satisfacción, creo que ya habrán entrado. Let me see. I'm going to try to... Enter. Y es así como se mira. Bien. ¿Estamos listos? ¿Are we ready? Y cualquier consulta igual hagan. Que lo mande el WhatsApp teacher. Vaya, ahorita. <laughs> right now. In this moment. Ok. What's up? Okay, here. Me, me confirma si han logrado ingresar, por favor. Please. Bueno, como les compartía, esa es la información que les debieron haber compartido de la encuesta de satisfacción. Y ese es el link. Estos son algunos de los datos del curso que les va a pedir. La encuesta como tal, al abrir acá este link, este, se ve así. Ya, encuesta de satisfacción de inglés. ¿Me confirman si ya todos lograron abrir el link? ¿Ya están todos acá? Yes. Tenemos que yes. esperar a alguien igual, nos no dice, please. Sobre todo los que van driving. Be yes, careful. Yes. Be careful, careful, careful. ¿Ya? Yeah. Ok, Ingris, ingrese el nombre completo de la orden de inicio con guiones y plecas. Será proporcionado por el proveedor, puede copiarlo y pegarlo, era lo que les decía. Está acá la orden de inicio. Pueden hacer esto, copiar y pegar. Teacher, yes. si gusta mejor, mejor mande los datos del curso. Todo. Así completo, ajá, en el WhatsApp, así solo lo damos copy-paste. Para que le den copy-paste, ok, me parece. Bye. Ya está. Nombre completo. Ese de ustedes, ¿verdad? Correo electrónico, igual con el que se registraron. Número de celular. Número 5. <ríe> Departamento de residencia. Seguramente, pues, residimos en algún municipio, pero tiene que ser el departamento al que pertenece ese municipio. Por ejemplo, otro que hay alguien de Huayú. Huayú pertenece a... ¿No? 
ส่วนส่วนนะเออช่างปังคนอยู่ในส่วนส่วนนะเจ้าว่าจะฟังช่างสุดส่วนส่วนนะเฮ้ยนี่ก็ตามมาดูอันเดี๋ยวเราคุยนะสิ่งที่ตัวเดียวว่ารักที่อ่ะนี่ส่วนส่วนนะอย่าลิสต์ต่อนอันนี้สต๊อกริคาร์ดส์ส่วนนะให้เซลฟ์เฟอร์ต้องมีเด็กคอมเพรสติร์ลโอเอ็งอินวอตส์อัพเอลิสครีนช็อตบ่ายเดพาร์ตเมนต์ต์เรสเซนซ์ย์มุนิซิปิโอเรสเซนซ์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์ย์
Gracias. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, Miguel Ángel. Carla. Good, good, good. A Laura y a Javier, Francisco Javier. Ok. Brian, very good. Si hay alguien que todavía necesite que le esperemos, no me avisa por All right. Okay, Jose Antonio, Victor, thank you. Very good. Ya todos? Everybody finished? All right. Andy, bueno, creo que sigue todo, ¿verdad? Todos finalizaron. ¿Estamos? Cristi, ¿necesita que le esperemos? Sí, te echarás que vengo a llegar a la casa. No, no, tranquila. Don't worry. Don't worry. Very good. Ricardo.
Bueno, sí me parece que la gran mayoría ya terminó, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? Bueno. Sigamos, entonces. Les continúo. Bueno, como les había compartido previamente lo de la presentation, es prácticamente el repaso de la última unidad. Y para tal efecto les comentaba que estas propositions sí pueden ser aplicables en, digamos, en las calles o en un área más grande, pero también tienen como su mayor efecto, ¿verdad? En, en espacios cerrados, donde tenemos pasillos, donde tenemos como instalaciones, ¿verdad? Right? Eh, obviamente, va a depender mucho de, de los espacios donde nosotros trabajemos en este caso, ¿verdad? For example, is it where is the park located? It's located among many places, ¿verdad? No le está diciendo que otros lugares, pero pues hay muchos más lugares ahí. Yo les ponía de referencia, creo, en alguna clase, lo de el plan de la laguna, que hay muchas empresas, muchas uh, companies. Entonces, podría ser, eh, there's a, que una compañía, por decir un nombre, o el, el mismo jardín botánico. It's among many other companies. O sea, de estado entre muchas otras empresas, ¿verdad? pero está ubicado ahí, porque es como un complejo, right? Industrial. Right, where is the sport palace located? Si usted le pregunta, where is the sport palace? Usted ya entiende, pues, pero si quiere como enfatizar dónde está ubicado, le agrega la, par, la palabra located. Right, where is the sport palace located? It's located on Barry Street in front of the park. Seguramente no, pues no hay como una calle o, o algo tan obvio. So that's why they say in front of the park. Where is the mall located? It's located near the restaurant. No, no hay mucha distancia. No está muy lejos de ahí. And where is the church? It is located past the school. Seguramente sobre esa misma calle, pero al pasar la escuela. All right. Complete the conversation using a preposition from the box. Go to page 39 and look at the map. Para esto tendríamos que ir y buscar el mapa que está en la página 39. O sea, el, el mapa con el que inicia la unidad. Si mal no recuerdo. Déjenme. 39. Let me go for the map just on the PDF. Acá, 39. Bye. De esto, as I was telling you, we're going to be moving from this, right? This part, I mean, this map, and we're going to be moving to this exercise, right? The Sport Palace is, y como tiene de referencia, the bank. So the Sport Palace let me see. We're going to skip this one. We got the sport palace and you got the bank. So, ¿qué correspondería? What preposition? Any idea? Pues, si dicen across, across from the bank, I think it's correct. If you say Near, near the bank, it's fine. Right. Y no hay como una sola respuesta correcta. Even in front of, probably, you would say in front of. All right. The second next one is, to. yes, next to. The bank, the sport palace next to, aquí se tendría que estar como, como en the church in the city hall, ahí sí, al lado de, pero digamos. Y como opposite. Opposite would be. Uh -huh. 
the right. ¿Cómo les dan de referencia, verdad? El bank, buy. La siguiente dice, number two, the city hall is the church and book world. Si ya sabemos que dan dos lugares, pues es más que obvio. Usted dice, ah, pues debe ser between. The church. Between. Mm -hmm. the between the school and the city hall. Yes. Is that right? I'm sorry. The city hall is the church and the book world. The city hall. Hold on. Yeah, so it has them. The city hall is between the church and the book world. I thought it was the church. So the city hall is between the church and the book world. Sorry. The next one is the restaurant, First Avenue. Sobre esta calle, sobre la primera avenida. Basically, is the restaurant is on First Avenue. Right? And then we got the church and the city hall are. The church and the city hall are. Next to, opposite. Opposite the park, yes. Across from the park. Right. Okay. So that is basically uh regarding this review. Let me just move it like this. Okay. It was practically just that exercise. But I know we need more reinforcement. We need to practice a little bit more. And I have a more complete uh, map actually right here. So probably you didn't see this map before, but it's just to get used to it, right? First thing when we have a map, probably we don't read maps anymore because we have apps to guide us in a city, right? Or we don't even bother, you know, like trying to understand the maps because the apps tell us where to go. But let's say it's the idea to get familiar at least with the avenues, with the streets, and with the different vocabulary related to places in town. So we're gonna start right here from hospital, fast food restaurant, bus stop, bank, garage, bakery, swimming pool, Market, Central Bus Station, parking lot, sec okay, First Avenue, Second Avenue. And there is a library right here. There's a park. There's a Park Hill Road, church. There's a playground. There's a bus stop. There's a cinema on Kensington Street. So like right in the middle, there's a school on Second Avenue. There's a shopping mall on Third Avenue or on the corner of Third and Kingston. Kensington Street, actually, there's a history museum, a bookstore, a supermarket. Here, there's an Italian restaurant. Uh, there's a cafe. There's a music shop, a toy shop, a florist. There's another street right here, Bay Street, 4th Avenue, 3rd Avenue. There's a travel agent, a post office, a Chinese shop, a pet shop. And on Clark Street, there's a police station. On 3rd Avenue, there's a gas station. There's a fire station. A hotel, Red Star, um, 5th Street. And there's a central, well, there's a parking lot right here, a market, and the central bus station, right? So this is practically to practice, right? There is a big range of vocabulary. So I'm going to share this, of course, with you. And I'm also going to share the exercises. Give me just one second. I just need to double check. Oh, it's pretty simple because the exercise that you have to solve with this map that I show you is just true or false. So you read there are some sentences about the map and then you say true or false. True or false, true or false, and that's it. 
So it's just a review. Somehow the use of the prepositions, right? Are we ready? I'm gonna share the map first. Let me just get it, take it out from here. Oh my goodness. All right. Yes. All right. Here I go. Okay, let me just put it right here. Okay, thank you, Christy. Tell me if you already know, I mean, if you already see the map, please. Yes? Great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Good evening. Hola, hola. Si quieren iniciamos. Vaya, ahorita estoy solamente viendo la imagen. Es de contestar, ¿verdad? Lo que envió. Solo vas a poner si es verdadero o falso lo, lo que está diciendo la imagen. Ok, ok. Pero ¿dónde le vas a poner? ¿O solo lo...? Entre nosotros sería este de ir... Con... Por eso, digamos, o sea, tú lo anotas, o sea, nosotros lo anotaríamos cada quien y luego entre todos lo... Sí, básicamente. Oh. Ok. Estoy anotando la respuesta. Sí, verdadero, falso. Si quieren, nos podemos ir entonces contestando ya, todos juntos para que terminemos rápido. Bueno, está bien. Sí, vaya, permítame. Sí, la segunda dice, la iglesia está después de la librería. ¿sí? Church, church, church. Ajá. Ajá. Es, aunque ahí sería behind, fíjate. O no, o in front, enfrente de. Pero es que ahí como yo no sé cuál es la parte de enfrente. <risa> Porque ahí como puede ser enfrente, puede ser, puede ser detrás, de va. Sería así, teacher. Hello. Tenemos una duda en la, en la segunda. 
the church is next to the library. Mm -hmm. Sería cierto, ¿verdad? The church is next to the library, yes. Si tomas ¿eh? como la calle de, de Third ¿verdad? Avenue, yes, could be next to the library. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Ah, está bien, gracias. No problem. Vaya, entonces la primera es. Yo sé. Por eso, creo que es. Next to. Ah. Sí, pero entonces, por eso, si está a la par, entonces es, es falso, entonces. Uh -huh. False. Uh -huh. O sea, que no lo, no lo encuentro, no lo veo. Ah, ya lo vi. Uh -huh. ah, pues, sí, sí, falso. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. The second is the church is next to the library. Uh -huh. The church uh -huh. is next to. Uh -huh. Veamos. Uh -huh. Está a la next par, vea. Yes, it's, it's true. Uh -huh. Está a la iglesia, sure. The number three say no the supermarket el... is far from police station. Yo se me olvidó que es far. Es far. Quiero ver. Ah, ya vi. Ok. Entonces la iglesia está lejos. Dice the supermarket is far from from police station, the supermarket, the supermarket. Okay, commissioner. Yeah. It's true. Oh, sí, porque están retiradas algo, pero ajá, sí están, están en diferente manzana, en diferente yeah. cuadra. Entonces es verdadero. Mhm. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Porque está diciendo que está lejos. Sí. Uh -huh. uh -huh. The number four is the post office is between the travel agent and the police station. Uh -huh. The post office is between the travel agent and the police station. Okay, let me see. Sí. Y la número 10, true. Ok. Ok. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No sé si alguien quiere volver a leer las preguntas para revisarlas. The church is next to April. Supermarket is far teacher uh, uh, uh -huh. yes. uh, far from es lejos verdad yes ok gracias far from here uh -huh. spider mm -hmm. fast from far from yes Super. next to the cinema esa no es verdadera porque eso 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 posi eso posi entonces es falsa va por el cinema eh... está enfrente del cinema entonces es falsa sí tiene que ser eh... aposit eh entonces es falsa verdad Sí, sí, sí. Sí, porque si no dijera es en siguiente. Uh -huh. Ahí dice The Red Star Hotel is on Third Avenue. El Hotel Estrella Roja está sobre la ven tercera avenida. Sobre la tercera avenida. 
a usted la estrella roja. En mi viaje, ¿dónde está? <risa> ah, yo lo vi. Pero no, es falso, ¿verdad? O es verdadero. Uh, bye. Ahorita que está la teacher aquí. Teacher. Yes. Eh, if if uh, one place is uh, nor next to, but is, how do you say esquina? On the corner? Uh, opposite on the corner. Uh, it's, eh, está cerca o está lejos. Está solo al cruzar la calle, it's near. Ok, uh -huh. entonces, entonces la tercera sería verdad, ¿eh? sería falso porque, porque no está lejos de la estación de policía. The third one. The supermarket is far from the police station. Yes. It's next to bookstore. Next to bookstore. And the police station is next to gas station. Mm -hmm. No, I think it's just uh -huh, on the opposite corner. No, I think that mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's false. Mm -hmm. uh, number four, the post office is between the travel agent and the police station. Between. ¿Qué era between? Entre. Ah. Just two things. Entre. Because if there are more, then it would be a mall. I see, see. Between mm -hmm. the travel section and the police station. The... What's the post office? Uh... See. See, it's true. Vale, primero dijimos falso, verdadero, falso y verdadero, ¿verdad? Yes, it's true, but the bus stop is opposite a uh, Italian restaurant. Ok. And the number eight, the floor is is next to the cinema. Let me see. The floor is. The floor is. I don't see. Okay. Floor is. Floor is what? Is next to the cinema. Mm. Is false. Mm. Flores. Oh, 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 cinema. Ya no lo miraba y ya no, ya no lo veía. Qué barbaridad. Claro, the Flores is no. next to the cinema. Yes. Mm. Es más opposite, ¿verdad? Que next to. Ah, que no lo encuentro. <ríe> ah, ya vi. Cinema. Ajá, a mí me gustó también. <ríe> ah, cinema. Ah, ya encontré el cinema. Y dice es que más tiene... opo, sí. Ah. Entonces sería old. Ah, oh, oh. Is old. Ajá, pues sí, ajá, podría, ajá. Ah, pues es, es falso. Uh -huh. Porque Italian restaurant is next to the, the florist, but uh -huh. cinema no. Okay. Okay. The number nine, the Red Star Hotel is on Third Avenue. The Red Star Hotel is on Third Avenue. La nueve. The Red Star Hotel is on the Dears. Dears. Dears, Dears Avenue. Dice Dears, Dears Avenue. Como tercera avenida. Tercera avenida. 
Yes, because it's yeah. old. Falso. Y la tercera avenida, ¿dónde está? Ah, ya la vi. ¿Y dónde está? Near the third avenue, be near base stage, base street. Uh -huh. No, eso es falsa. And the, finally, the park is on a, on Park Hill Road. The park is on. Ah, ¿dónde está? Ajá, ok. Y esa es la dirección, bueno. Parking. It's true. Parking Road. Parking Road. ¿Dónde está Parking Road? Pero eso es arriba. Ah, la calle. Ya. Ah, sí, la calle. The street, ajá. Y ahí está. Y, y el parque, ¿dónde está? Ahí, ahí están los arbolitos. Ah, pues, ah, pues sí, es verdadero. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Está entre esa calle. It's true. Hey. <laughs> I do it. All right, everyone finished, right? So we're going to compare our answers to this exercise, right? So I'm gonna to try to have uh, the map on one device so that we can be answering the sentences according to true or false. Let me see, oh my God, oh my God. True or false? Wait a second. Right here. The garage is opposite the bakery. True or false? False. 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 The garage is opposite the bakery. Did you find the garage? Where yeah. is the garage? <laughs> um, the garage. Uh, sorry, let me see. It's on Second Avenue on Second in front Avenue. of shopping mall. Okay, across from the shopping mall is next to the bakery, right? It's not opposite. So here it should be false. Yep. Okie dokie. All right. The church is next to the library. Yeah, it's true. Oh. It's false. It's true. 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 It's true. If you take as a reference, they're avenue. They're just next to each other, right? The supermarket is far from the police station. False. False. <laughs> true. 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 <laughs> Yes. Yeah. It's far or uh, is not yeah. far? Um, it's far. But, uh, the supermarket is far from. No, it's false. <laughs> it's just on the opposite corner. Yeah, but it's no, o sea, no está lejos. Mm -hmm. Yo creo que los que dijeron que sí está far, the supermarket is far from the police station, porque consideran que. Y yendo a pie o caminando es far, pero I think it's not no, far. No, it's not far. Uh -huh. uh, it's only, only cross the, the street. 
yeah, to just go across the street in the U.S. So I would say false. And the post office is between the travel agent and the police station. Uh, it's true. False. False. <laughs> the post office is between. The post office. Uh, is it's between, between the travel agent and the. And uh, and the pet shop. Uh, I don't... And the pet shop or the Chinese shop. And Chinese right? shop. Chinese shop. Mm -hmm. So this oh, is. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I read, I read toy shop. Well, <laughs> I, I, well, I, I, do, I, I really read a shop, and I think that it's toy shop. All right, so that would be false. No, okay, it's false. The swimming pool is near the bank. Uh, true. true. It's true. true. It's just yeah. around the corner, uh huh. To so just go around the corner and then you find the swimming pool around from the bank. Yes, so that would be true. The music shop is between the cafe and the toy shop. It's, it's true. 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 Yes. The Italian restaurant is opposite the bus stop. Yes, it's true. That's true. Yes, that's true. That was easy, wasn't it? Okay, the florist is next to the cinema. It's false. 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 It's just across, right? It's across from the cinema. The Red Star Hotel, it's on Third Avenue. It's false because the Hotel Red Star uh Fleet uh, Street. Um, uh -huh. L, L, T, L, T, L, T, L, T, <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, <brother. laughs> okay. Ah. It's, um, yeah, between Clark Street and H, it's the Field Street Hills and Clark Road on Fleet Street, right? So this would be false. It's not on Third Avenue. Yes. This, oh, this yeah. is street. This, this is <laughs> that, <street. one>, that <laughs> Me, me is in, 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 is in the, in the Third Avenue. <laughs> All right, and the park is on Park Hill Road. True, it's true. That's true. True, true, true. All right, teacher. Yes. Ahí me, me confundí un poquito, vaya, porque digamos qué pasaría si, digamos, por decirle algo, vea, eh, no fuera una avenida, sino que la calle se llama, por decirle algo parque tal y el y el parque también se llama parque tal entonces cómo se hace así para no confundirse si Por no la es road. una avenida o sea usted se refiere porque dice parque road ah no pues sí pero digamos que un parque se llamara igual que un que una, que una road ajá, ajá. Que una road entonces cómo cómo se le hace así como para explicarle y no se confunda la persona Generalmente le dice que el parque está ubicado sobre la calle del mismo nombre. Mm. Y sí puede pasar. Yes. Okay. In the United States, it's so very common to see a lot of places called the Springfield. So, like, if there is a place called Springfield, it's on the Springfield Street, for example, on the Springfield Road. Okay. Uh -huh. It's kind of confusing, as I was saying at the beginning. O sea, cuesta un poco acostumbrarse a hacer uso de estos maps y sobre todo ahora que la tecnología lo resuelve. So, it's not a big deal. Don't worry. It's part of the... part of the... manual. We have part of the contents we have to develop, so don't worry. Vamos a hacer como... un break. <laughs> no es que nos vamos a ir un break, ah. así, like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> no, vamos a hacer un break de contenido. Break. O sea, we're on a break, but we're just going to practice something else. No es que ahorita, vamos a hacer un break. Y tan feliz cuando escuché eso. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Mentira. So Aunque lo me... <laughs> Qué bárbaros. <laughs> Vaya. Stephanie va a ser la primera. 
<risa> Yo le voy a preguntar a Stephanie y luego I Stephanie need, le va I a need preguntar to say, a alguien más. I need to say one thing. All right. What do you do on the weekend, Stephanie? <risa> I work and work and more work. <risa> on the weekend. Oh, weekends. Um, uh, clean my house. Um, laundry the closet. Um, do homework with my daughters. Walk on the park with my daughters. Um, cook for the week and what more um planchar no sé cómo se dice <laughs> iron the clothes or press the clothes uh, pues. repeat please again iron como iron man uh -huh. iron clothes the ropa eso iron the clothes press press como prensar press the clothes oh. okay uh -huh. Um, all right, it's all yeah. right. Now I'm going to spin the wheel and you are going to ask the next question to another person. You say the name, all right? Okay, okay. So you choose um, the next person. For the person too? The, yes, you say the next say person. Say the question and, the, and, and say the, and, and the person, okay? Exactly. Mm. Brian, my friend, <laughs> <laughs> how often do you study English? Uh, so I usually study English with my classmates. So I I so learned about the books or or the talk to people with my with my friend or with my family uh so i i usually uh, try to to talk with 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 they because uh my teacher is a major number how do you say uh, tia my aunt my because my aunt uh, lives in california oh. so i try to i try to talk with 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 her when my mom uh, talk with her. All right, how often is that? Every day, every other day? Every... No, it is, it is because uh, well, I say week. that, that there's usually, or it's not, not the all day, so the audience, uh, Once when, I have a, when I have an opportunity, it is not the uh, all day on a specific. Mm -hmm. Well, how often? Usually it refers to frequency, maybe once a week, twice a week, once a month, every other day, mm. every day, every weekend. Well, I post that one one day on no three days a uh, the weekend. Three days a week. Yes. All three right. So now you choose the next person to ask the question. Okay. It's the same one. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Lau, what do you do on the weekends? Um, uh, watch TV. <laughs> um, I watch TV. Uh -huh. I watch TV. Um, is the no sé cómo decir trabajos de la universidad. I do homework from the university. University. Uh -huh. um, sleep. I sleep. Uh -huh. um, oficios en la casa, no sé. Cómo. I do housework. I do that. Uh -huh. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now you ask the next question to the next person. <laughs> Uh -huh. Um, este, uh, gracias. Okay. Uh 
Um, read read I... the question for Gracia. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is what is something do you no you you do don't do and do si sí, me confundo ahí o sea me el auxiliary y el uh, verbo what is uh -huh. something you don't do uh -huh. the morning the I morning. I don't go out with my friends <laughs> I don't <laughs> I don't sleep because I work um I don't eat lunch. <laughs> All right. Now you ask the next question to the next person. Mm -hmm. uh, Douglas, what Hello. did you do in the morning? I... I get up at 5 a.m. to do exercise and prepare my kids to the school. All right. Now you ask the question to the next person. Stephanie. <laughs> Me oh, again? Oh, no, 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 please. No, no. <laughs> the others, the partner. Francisco. Yes, thanks. <laughs> I don't forget this, Douglas, okay? I don't know. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Do you have class in the afternoon? I don't know. I don't. My I don't. leave if my leave is war war. Your war, life. War. <laughs> Your life it's about working all the time. Okay, Francisco, you ask the next person. Repass. <laughs> Sorry. So we ask. Next, next. Mm -hmm, next question. We already did this one, so don't worry. We're going to eliminate that one. Okay, that one you can ask Francisco to somebody else. Wendy. Okay, Wendy. What is something you don't do at night? What is something you don't do at night? Wendy? Sorry, I don't go for a walk in the park. I I don't sleep early. Only. Only. <laughs> I don't go for a walk. All right, Wendy. So you gotta ask the next the next person. Okay, that's a good one. Um, veamos quién. Moment, un moment. Cristina. Okay, Cristina. Cristina, what time do you wake up? I wake up. Wake six. up. ¿Cómo? Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. I wake I up. up. 6 a.m. 6 a.m. All right, Christy. So you ask the next person. 
Eh, no sé quién es Walton. Say a name, maybe. Usted diga el nombre. Si ya respondió, le va a decir. Miguel. Okay. <laughs> Ask the question. What uh -huh. is something, something to don't do in the afternoon? In the afternoon, I don't do. To drink coffee? I don't drink coffee in the afternoon. Yes. Really? Yes. Okay, Miguel. No, 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 no. Nadie le cree, pero bueno. You <laughs> exactly. ask the next one, Miguel. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, the coffee is a perfect drink. Okay, we're going to eliminate that because <laughs> okay. it's repeated. We're going to choose okay. another one. Piensa quién le va a hacer. Let me see. Hector? Yes. What do you do in the evening? Uh, I hear English, the English. <laughs> <laughs> I take my English class. <laughs> I participate in my English class. Or you can say, I go home, I come back home, I return, I go for a walk, I have dinner. Porque la English class es, sí es en el evening, pero ya un poquito más tarde. Pero digamos que tipo cinco y media, seis, hasta las ocho. What other activities do you do? Exercise. I exercise. Uh -huh. Uh, visit my father. I visit my father. Uh, go in the park. I go to the park for a walk. I go for a walk to the park. Uh -huh. um, nice. I eat, I, I eat the pupusa. I eat pupusas <laughs> with <laughs> <the> chocolate. <laughs> with chocolate. Yeah. Right. And sometimes tamalitos de lote with cream. Oh, All right, see. Sí. Esa milpa, verdad? Bueno, eliminate. Next. Now you ask the question to the next person. Okay. Free. I wait. Don't worry. The person was lucky. <laughs> Who's the big thing? Okay. Ricardo. Yeah, Ricardo. Richard. No, parece, no, Ricardo. Um, ¿Qué soy? ¿Qué soy? <laughs> <laughs> ya se veía yo, Mr. Where did you go? Do you say a flight? Oui. Why? Why, 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 why or why not? Uh, Stay up sí. late es de velar. Oh, ok. Stay up yes. late. Yes. Because? Yes, because I have English class. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and, also, and also... If you don't have English class, you go to bed at 7. <laughs> and, and also to do exercise. Ah, because you do exercise. That's and what watch, watch TV. I watch my, my phone. Uh, Facebook, Check TikTok. Social media. It's a C, correct. All right, nice. Now you ask the question to the next person. Okay. Ese había salido también. Lo voy a sí. eliminate. Now, how can they study English? We got it already. Yes, I think Brian. Yeah. Brian answered uh -huh. that one. Yeah, mm -hmm. Or maybe we have only repeated one. Ah, do you have classes in the afternoon? Uh, okay. 
El Douglas ya pasó, ¿verdad? Me debe una. Lo But tengo I anotado think aquí. Uh -huh. <risa> Wait, Douglas. Mm, what do you do in what the do you do in the afternoons? No, I think nobody answered this one. No, pero yo creo que lo ya pasó. Yeah, and he answers what he does in the morning. Mm -hmm. oh. So you can choose another person. Uh, vamos a ver. Mm. Nelson. Nelson. What do you do in the afternoon? I work and <laughs> drinking coffee. <laughs> okay. Uh, no specific activities from work in the afternoon. Uh, specific. Uh, no. No, the same. The, the same. same routine. Whatever. Mm -hmm. All right. Never mind. All right. Thank you for your participation. I think we got that most of you participated on that activity. That's great. Well, building up confidence. Hmm. Let me see. I think we did this already. Right. One second. Yo creo que esta activity en algún momento la realizamos. We did this before. But just as a refresh. Creo que recuerdan que habían llenado esta información. The employee's information. Yes. Yes, you did, right? Your name, your workplace, your phone number, your job position, your department, your address, and your ID. So we're not going to do that, okay? But we're going to do this. Van a escribir cinco oraciones de lugares, o sea, de cosas, establecimientos que hayan cerca del lugar de su trabajo. Yo creo que también teníamos algo de esto. Recuérdense que todo es review. Pueden chequear si tienen notes. Tienen las los notes ahí escritos, lo, los ejemplos de alguna clase para guiarse. Write sentences about the places around your workplace. Use the prepositions of places to describe their location. An example sí, to me, there is a, a shopping mall around the corner from my workplace. Or there is a, there is a school across from my company, right? So, Cinco oraciones utilizando there is, there are y las prepositions para decir qué cosas o qué lugares se encuentran alrededor de su lugar de trabajo. Yes. Creo que las teníamos. Sí, sí ya las habíamos hecho. Si ustedes ya las tienen, pues solo las comparto. Yes. Ok, let me see. In the same groups, just with the same people. Hola, hola, David.
a ver, tal. Eh, yo no recuerdo haber hecho esto, pero lo hice ahorita. Near my workplace, there are a lot of stores like in front a pale shoes, next to a clothes store, and on top there is a MD. No sé si lo entendieron. Ahora en español. Es que no estoy seguro si es. Ajá. They are many people around. They is a beach nearby. They is a restaurant called Corner. Excelente. Excelente. Solo falta Laura. Hola, sí, ahorita estaba viendo, no, bueno, creo, porque yo tenía unas acá, pero no son de, de, ya. Vaya, por ejemplo, ya había, yo tengo unas acá que había notado antes, pero creo que era cuando estábamos viendo, eh, vaya, por ejemplo, Uh, tengo una que dice, I play and watch TV and why my gear sería. Juego y veo televisión con mi niña. Uh, my gear. Pero creo que no. Creo que las voy a hacer mejor ahorita porque estuve buscando y no las encontré. Solo, solo puede ser una oración. Te voy a dar un ejemplo de eh, que hay algo cerca de tu trabajo. Sí, creo que ahorita la voy a hacer porque creo que tal vez las anoté en otra parte. Bueno, la voy a hacer ahorita. Sería este con el este de allá, ¿verdad? El Cerca del trabajo. Sí, okay. correcto. Como que si hay demasiados cajeros cerca de tu trabajo, puedes poner de ya a lot o money. Hay ATMs en Word. Y es que yo me acuerdo de que no tengo unas oraciones y no, no sé qué tengo una oración. Vaya, ahorita las hago mejor porque eso está buscando. Ya las encontré. <ríe> Vaya, se las digo. Eh, yo había puesto I work in Akaku, Akaku DRL at my work they are um, eight agencias in the country. Eh, hay ocho agencias en el país. They are um, a lot of documents, they are computer, they are uh, some meeting, no, some meeting room, they are um, some coffee maker, cafeteras, uh, they, there is parking lot. Excelente. Hay un estacionamiento. Yo sabía que las había notado. 
Entonces... Solo esas así vamos a hacer o habían otras. Solo cinco, dijo ella, porque eran cinco preguntas las que... Hello, hello. I see some people are still pending to return. A couple of them, yes, they're back. Okay. Wait a minute. Did you destroy the places around your workplace? Is there any question about this exercise? ¿Alguna pregunta o algo que no hayan logrado escribir? No? Easy peasy. Prepositions of place. He has a presentation in on at. Uh, at. 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 At the meeting room. Mm, creo que es in. De hecho, cualquiera de los dos es aplicable acá. <laughs> No se pelee. Vale. Si sí, uh -huh. quiero ser como más específico de, de, digamos, de todas las instalaciones que tiene sí. un lugar, puedo usar art, como art de mineral, to be very specific. Pero para signify que es un lugar cerrado, in the mineral, ambos es posible. The laptop is on, on the middle table. The exhibition is in, in, in San Miguel, because in. it's a big city. Where's your boss? My boss is at work. At work. Eso ya es una frase así establecida. Yo no puedo decir on work, at work. I mean, in work, no, at work. Human resources is on, on the in. third floor. On the third floor. Con los pisos, siempre vamos a utilizar la preposición on. On the first floor, on the second floor, and the third floor. Juan is at 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 the photocopy center. All right, good. Ahora les tengo un pequeño challenge. Este challenge is the lectura. So you are going to read about the third person. Vamos a ver quién es el suertudo para leer. Let's see who the lucky one is. Let's... Are you ready? Para ver quién se gana la lotería. Bunch. And the winner is... <laughs> Ah, qué grande, ah, Cristina, qué grande. Ah, ah. Eso merece un cohete. ¿Por qué, mi? Eso merece un cohete. ¿Estás listo, Ana Cristina? Sí. Un ratito, teacher. Yeah. Ok, let's go. Empiece cuando esté ready. When you're ready, I'm ready. Pero, ¿dónde está, teacher? Creo que voy a leer. No lo logra ver. No. O sea, ahorita se lo comparto. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Ok, ready? Ok. This is Mrs. Amy. She's a teacher. She's 40 years old. 
she's thin and tall. She works at a school. She teach English. Every day she gets get out six o'clock in the morning. She take exercise for thirteen minutes. She take a shower and then has a breakfast. And seven o'clock, she eats bread and drinks a cup of milk at half past seven. She drives her car to a school. When she ar arrives to a school, she checks daily lesson plan. Then she welcomes her students. She starts Teaching, no sé cómo pronunciar. Teaching, like teacher teaching. Teaching, uh -huh. teaching at nine o'clock. Um, twelve o'clock. She has lunch. After heavy lunch, she teach the class again. Mm, until o como Until. Until oh. half past two. She has a break time for. 15 minutes, then she teach for a hours in the afternoon. She goes home half past four. She takes a rest. Then she has di di dinner and after that she corrects her student homework. She goes to bed a half past ten. Very good. Okay. Revisen muy bien. Y vamos a dar como dos o tres minutitos para hacer consultas sobre pronunciation or vocabulary. This is a very simple description, very simple vocabulary, very simple structures. ¿Alguna duda? Any question? Easy for everybody, easy. Ay, solo quizás las las palabras que le preguntaba pronunciación, teacher. Teachers, for example, uh -huh. teachers It comes from teacher, so she teaches. This is Miss Amy. She's a teacher. She's 40 years old. She's being told she works at school. She teaches English every day. She gets up at six o'clock in the morning or she gets up six o'clock in the morning. She takes exercises for 30 minutes. She takes a shower and then has a breakfast at seven o'clock. She eats bread and drinks a cup of milk. At half past seven, she drives her car to school. When she arrives to school, she checks daily lesson plan. Then she welcomes, she welcomes her students. She starts teaching at nine o'clock. At 12 o'clock, she has lunch. After having lunch, she teaches the class again until half past two. She has a break, a break of time for 15 minutes. Then she teaches for an hour in the afternoon. She goes home at a half past four. She takes a rest. Then she has dinner. And after that, she corrects her students' homework. She goes to bed at a half past 10. All right. Ok, teacher. Gracias. No problem. Luego vamos a tener que responder estas cuestiones acerca de Mrs. Amy. What's her name? Where does she work? Does she think? How old is she? Is she sure? Does she, does she walk to school or to work? When does she get up? Does she start teaching at 9 o'clock? What does she teach? When does she have lunch? When does she go to bed? Does she take exercises in the morning? All right. So give me one second. I'm going to share both the screenshots with you because they're, okay, tienen 10 minutos, like last 10 minutes of the class to do this exercise. Let me just open this rooms and let's go.
los mortales ya no. <risa> Qué bárbaro. Después dice, is she thing? Dice, vamos a ver. Vamos a ver dónde está la respuesta. Es, está delgada, dice. Dice que she takes exercise for su team. En la, Dice en la she tercera. works at school, only school. Ajá, correcto, es solo school. Okay. En, la, en la tercera, donde dice is she think, entonces she sí, think. yes, she is. Porque dice una parte donde dice she is think and so. Uh -huh. En la okay. otra, donde dice how old is she? She is four years old. She is... Sí, a dónde está, no lo veo. Es en el primer, en el primer renglón me parece la edad. She is four years old. Ahí está, sorry. No, 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 no. She is in and told she worked, she... Ay, ay, ay. En la número, ¿qué? Cuatro. Ajá, uh, pero I, I don't see uh, the dialogue, uh, the conversation. Donde dije, this is Miss Amy, she's teacher, she's 40 years old. En el primer renglón. Oh, yes. Tiene 40 años. 40 years old, yes. Uh -huh. En la número 5, donde dice, she is, mm. is she short? No, no, no she, she is Ajá, Ajá. No, she eh, vamos a ver en la 6 dice does Get she work. walk to work vamos a ver what do you mean she take a shower or a break 7 o'clock she a break at 10 o'clock for me she has 7 seven... no he, uh, no she no, no. she drive drivers Ajá. Mm -hmm. entonces sería no she Isn't. Mm -hmm. Siete. When does get up? Six o'clock. Yes, she, she get up six o'clock. Número. Ocho. No, six, seven o'clock now? No, six o'clock de here. Ah, ok. Ah, pues ya escuché. Uh -huh. Ah, perdón, ajá. Ok. El número ocho dice, does she start teaching at nine o'clock? Yes. Yes. She start teaching at nine o'clock. Ajá, yes, she Yes, she starts. Baila nueve. What does she teach? English. What was to until yes. Mm -hmm. She. She teach English, teach brother. English, yes. English. When does she have lunch? She has. A lunch at twelve. Mm. See, this is the point. at twelve o'clock. She has lunch. She has <gasps> at the two. Ah, yes, yes, see, 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 see. Mm -hmm. yes. She has a lunch at. 12 o'clock. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. She has a lunch at 12 o'clock. No, no sé. mm -hmm. When does she go?
All right, everybody finished? Yes? Yes. Yes. Great, awesome. It was a very easy exercise, wasn't it? Yes? Very, very simple. Okay, I think you remember this. Because of the time, we're not going to write the answer. We're just going to say, what's her name? Amy. Her name is, is Amy. 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 She's Amy. Her name is Mrs. Amy. Where does she work? At school. At school. She, she works, works at, at school. school. Is she thing? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. She's thing and tall, right? Mm. How old is she? She's 40, 40 years old. She's 40 years 40 old. 40 years old. Yeah. Oh. Is she short? No, she isn't. No, she isn't. No, she she's, tall. isn't. she's tall, right? Does she walk to work? No, no she's she no, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. She, she doesn't. Uh -huh. Drive right. her car. She, she drives drive. her car. That's right. When does she get up? At six o'clock. She gets up at six o'clock. That's right. Does she start teaching at nine o'clock? Yes, she is. Yeah, sure. She starts teaching at nine o'clock. All right. The oh, what does she teach? English class. She teaches English. English, right? When does she have lunch? At twelve o'clock. She has lunch 12, at twelve o'clock. That's right. When does she go to bed? She goes to bed at half past ten. She goes to bed at half past ten. All right. And the last one, does she take exercises in the morning? Yes, she yes, does. She yes, she does. Right. She goes to exercise yes. in the morning. Okie dokie. Tomaremos la última attendance. Just right on time. Let me go for it. Let most can I will step on the circles here. I like it. Let me remember. Wait a minute. How am I do it like this? I love this. The first winner. Laura. <laughs> Uy, qué cerca llegó. Presente. Ok. Me gané algo. Yes. A diploma. <laughs> yes. Yes. José Antonio. No. He's not here. No vino José Antonio today. Mm. All right, I forgot to delete his name actually. <laughs> Wendy, no, Wilmer actually. Present teacher. Hi, good night. Good night. Present teacher. Ah, here. Okay. <laughs> actually, the next one I think it will be Wendy. Hi, uh, Andrea. Andrea, still here? Present. Hi. Nelson? No. Present. Yes, Nelson, yes, here. Because I thought it was somebody else. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oops. Ya sabemos que los hay más here, so don't worry. Just another shot. <laughs> oh, Wendy, ya nos había respondido, right? Stephanie. Present. Right here. I'm still here. Yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm very tired. Oh, Wendy. Maybe. Yes, Wendy is still here. 
Yes, I heard Hi, the everybody. presence. All right. Darla, I think. Yes. Present. All right. Hector Manuel. Is still Present here. Teacher. Yes. Present. Nice. Please <laughs> no. I think it's Brian actually. Still here, Brian? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. David. I think it's David. Yes. That's still That's here. All right. Ouch. Yeah, I think this time is Christy. Yes. And Present. Still here. Next, 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 next. Oh, no. Christian. I think Christian is not here, right? That was Alexander all the time. Francisco. Present. Hi. Next, 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 next. Ricardo. <laughs> Present. All right. <laughs> next. The last one is almost Oops. Douglas, I guess. Yes. Present. It was present. And the winner, my <laughs> Doris. And the winner is we only have three now. Eliminated, Miguel Angel. Remove. Present teacher. <laughs> now we have. Redoble de tambor. Oh. Joana. Estuve tan cerca. Esa <laughs> de las manis. Gracias. Present. Alright. <laughs> well. Vamos a cambiar español. Ha sido un gusto, placer, de verdad, haber podido aportar, contribuir algún ejercicio, alguna explicación que les haya refrescado pues el conocimiento del idioma. Me parece que pues hay que seguir, hay que seguir echándole ganas. Yo sé que quizás nuestro mayor reto sea el los horarios, eh, la carga de trabajo, el cansancio y esos factores, pero si ustedes lo quieren hacer, pues lo pueden hacer. Así que no me resta nada más que agradecerles. Algunos pues los conocimos nada más en fotito, otros los lo vimos alguna vez en cámara y otros tal vez solo el nombre. Y alguna vez iremos a la unión. Eso es lo que recuerdo. <risa> Eso me parece muy bien, dice Don Manuel. Bueno, ahí vamos a la entrega de casa. diplomas en la unión. <risa> okay. En el espíritu de la montaña, por favor. Así es. Sopa de gallina. Y así volando la carpa. Pues esperamos <risa> en el espíritu de la montaña. Ay, muchas gracias, de verdad muy amenos. Les agradezco Thank muchísimo you. y nos vemos. Algún día en la vida gracias, nos teacher. encontramos otra vez. Gracias, teacher. Bendiciones. Amén. Cuídense. Gracias, teacher. Bye. Gracias, teacher. Gracias, teacher. Gracias, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.